Printify just dropped their brand new early access engraved wooden products. And these are going to be great to sell on Etsy as personalized products. Hello everyone, I'm Curtis, and if you want to get ahead of the competition, you need to get these products listed fast. And the most efficient way to do that is my designs with our Printify integration. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how to create and rapidly publish the new wooden cutting board, the charcuterie board, the bamboo pizza board, and the bamboo serving tray directly to your shop offering all four of these products on one listing with mock-ups and SEO data included. This is a great opportunity so let's dive into the workflow and get these products published. All right so you want to sell engraved products. These are new on Printify and if I go over to the engraving category uh, under catalog go to engraving you can see it's a new category here. And you have quite a few products but today I'm going to focus on the charcuterie board right here the bamboo pizza board, uh, the wooden cutting board, and the bamboo serving tray. These are four fantastic products. You could always sell these individually, but what I'm gonna do today is show you how I created a profile, a publishing profile in my designs, enable you to just load it with your designs, have all the pop or the mock-ups pre-populated, the pricing in place, etc., and then just publish it, even as personalized products. So these are great. So the pricing is a little bit on the higher side, and the shipping is also quite expensive, I'm just guessing due to their weight and size in some cases. But 1937 with Printify Premium here. Again, there's different sizes for those ones. Uh, this one's gonna be 2560 with Printify Premium, 1518. Again, there's different sizes for some of these, different styles. But in the bamboo board here, 1708. Not too bad. There's definitely room for improvement or making some money. I did a quick search for just cutting board because that's what I'm gonna focus on in the listing details. The sales are pretty good. 52 over the last seven days for this particular one. And what I've noticed in my search, in my little basic research that I've done, is that almost all of the top sellers, if not all of them, for these wooden cutting boards, charcuterie boards, etc., are all custom, so they're personalizable. So that is what you should focus on if you're gonna sell these products. So with that being said, uh, let me jump over to my designs. So I have a few of these pre-made designs I put through, put together quickly. They're in our canvas editor and I save them as personalized designs so I can edit all of these details. As you can see here, and this as well as a monogram font so I can just adjust that. So really easy and the way, the reason I did that is I created them in canvas, I saved them to the listings page and I toggled edible, meaning that when an order comes in and you're selling it as personalized, it'll pop up on the orders page in my designs where you can simply just click into this and change the details to what the customer wants, you'll see a personalization message here. It's so intuitive and so easy that you can just make those changes and approve the order, creates a new print file, the new mockup sends it off to the printer, in this case, Printify. So very intuitive, I wanted to show you and explain how that works, but that's how I created these basic designs here. So now let's get to the fun part. One more thing under list view, under keywords field, I added a personalization message field because each of these designs are a bit different. Now you don't necessarily have to do this. You could use a generic personalization message, but I want it to be more fitting for each of the designs and my designs makes that possible. So it's gonna pull in this personalization message and put that on each of the listings. So it's relative to the design itself. So if you wanna do that, you just go to edit, go template, go to the keywords field, and then just go add field. Just, you can name it whatever you want. Personalization message is what I did. I changed it to text area and 256 max characters, which is what Etsy allows. Then you click add, that adds the field. I just drag and dropped it here, moved the, the keyword fields here, but that's really simple. So that's all I did and I just saved the changes and that's how I ended up with this particular box here where I put that message in. All right, so let's get to the fun part. I got my designs, that's really all you need. I got the personalization message. Go publish, public profiles. And if you don't see wooden boards at the top here, you can just search it, but you should see it here. You can see this includes the four products I just went over. The bamboo serving tray, the bamboo pizza board, the wooden cutting board, and the charcuterie board. And it has preset prices for you that are set at a 50% discount if you're running that on Etsy. Now you can always adjust those prices however you see fit. Shipping's quite expensive, so you might want to calculate putting shipping into the price itself and then just offer free shipping. But otherwise you can just go with the base profile here. Click load. Now it might take a minute because some of these products have I believe four to six different product types and it's gonna go out and load all those up with the mockups. So once this page happens, it'll start pre-rendering your mockups but some will be empty like this because we haven't populated the design. So all you gotta do is click through the, the products up here. That'll load the designs, go to the next one. That'll load the different designs here. And let's go here. So get the rest of these. So these are all the different individual print files for each of these boards. 
So we'll take a look at these mockups real quick. And it's auto set to generate a video mockup for you too, which is amazing. But let's look at these before making any changes. You see these look great. There's some great products. And there's different styles for some of these cutting boards here. This would be your charcuterie board. And this looks amazing. So again, there are also more mockups you can choose from. If you look through here, there's different styles, but I just focused on a few of these ones to make it uh, simple. Now let's go back to the very first product here. Let me move over the bamboo serving tray. Let's just click on canvas. It already is pulling in your design from that main file slot in your listings page. So you can click on canvas and actually make this bigger if you want. So you can just resize it. And you can see that we have the other four designs here too. So I'm gonna make sure this is centered right in the middle. Now, if I got it where I want it to be, I could actually make that a little bigger, but I think this is good. Could right click on it and sync it. It'll apply those changes to all of your listings. So in some cases you might need to resize them because of how the design's set up, but it's very quick to just come through and do that. So that one's good, that one's good. This one needs to be a bit smaller. So that will do right there in the center. So now we can just save that. You'll see that's gonna repopulate those mockups now. We're publishing four listings at a time because we're all about saving time. You can do everything in bulk at my design. So if you had 10, 20, 40 designs you created, all personalizable, you can just load a profile and within a couple minutes have them published. So there you go, that looks a lot better. Now we gotta do that for the pizza tray or the pizza board. I think this looks a little bit big, but I'm gonna make it a little smaller, move it up a bit. Now you can get creative and do this however you see fit. This one's obviously too big, but that should fit. So let's save that. Now it's gonna re-render our mock-up for this bamboo pizza board. We'll be able to see what that looks like. And as you know, I'm just on one of these, but if I move to the next, the next listing, you can rotate up here. You'll see it'll pre-populate all those mock-ups. But I usually like to go adjust the print area for all of these first before I do that. Now I just wanted to show you kind of how you can do that uh, before I move to the next step. Sync that, some of these again might be too big. And you can also hit fit the artboard like that, which is easier. So let's save. But here you go, that's the other design here. These are some pretty good products. So if I wanted to, I could go through the rest of these and adjust them, which obviously you, I recommend you do. And if you wanted to do like a small print down in the corner, which I saw is quite popular, you could just adjust that and show that. But anyway, let me actually adjust these ones because I think that some of these are too big. This is the charcuterie board. This one's good. Let's get these centered. And save. That old again will readjust that particular one. But you can see there's different sizes here. And also different styles. Like this one's a circular style. So we obviously want to fit this within the printable area or engraving area. That'll do. That'll re-render that mock-up, as you can see there. Let's do that for the rest of these. I'm trying to make this pretty quick for you. There we go. And then the last one here. Just a little too big. Sync that across all these. Make sure it looks good. And then save. All right, we adjusted all those products. I think there is one more product. Oh, nope, that's it. I don't know if I went through the wooden cutting boards, but those should all fit. As you can see at the mock-ups, pretty good previews here. Yeah, everything looks good. All right, so let's go to the next step. Um, populate data. Now in this step, I'm gonna use Vision AI. You can of course put in your own titles, descriptions, tags, or you can use Vision AI right here, which will scan your design, understands the products you're selling, and then write listings for you, write the listing data for you. So let's use Vision AI. It's a little bit, the UI is a little bugged here because there's so many products selected, so we'll fix that, but everything works obviously. I'm gonna change this to the 2.5 model. Uh, under kitchen accessories, I'm actually gonna just say custom cutting board. Uh, obviously there's serving trays, there's bamboo pizza boards, but I'm just gonna focus on cutting boards because they seem to be the most popular product. Again, you can go in and adjust that with custom instruction if you want here. Um, I'm just gonna say it's a custom cutting board product. Please don't include the name because I don't want it to include like Madison right here, right? Or Smith's or whatever it is. Don't include the name in the title description tags and focus instead on the search terms relative to a customer searching for these products on Etsy. So that's very basic. You can get much more creative with custom instructions, but let's see how that turns out. So it'll scan the design for all four of these listings and write our titles, descriptions, and tags. That's done. So custom cutting board, monogram cutting board. It's got the monogram here. Personalized gift, engraved cutting board, family name decor, custom kitchen decor. I think that's great. And again, if you want to change it, you can adjust that further here or just do it on Etsy after you publish. 
But yeah, I got the tags here. And if we rotate through these listings, yeah, custom cutting board. You can see that it's not putting Smiths in there or the date established, which is awesome. It has established date. So it's, it's understanding my custom instructions quite well. So let's look at that. Well, there's one more at the first there. Yeah, these all look good. I obviously didn't dive deep in the tags, etc. But again, just wanted to show you the possibilities here. Now let's go to the next step, which is pricing. It's going to automatically pull in your pricing from Printify. So if you have Printify Premium, it will show that pricing here. And that's kind of what I base this price off. And by the way, you can see $81.98. That's obviously very, really expensive. But it's going to be 50% off. So that is the way I usually run things on Etsy, and that's why these prices are set up the way they are. So under the wood cutting board, which has the most options, you can see the different prices here. So at a 50% off discount, I believe I said it where you're making anywhere from 11, upwards of 20 something dollars per product, depending on the product that is ordered. Uh, and let's go to the charcuterie board again, all your prices pulling in from Printify. But that's it for this step. You can adjust prices. You can also adjust the options that appear on Etsy, like the size drop down, the color drop down. Etsy only allows two of those but it's set up perfectly with the names here. So let's go preview. This last step allows you to preview your titles, descriptions, your tags for each of the listings you're publishing, in this case four. So you can preview those here. But what I wanted to show you on the right side, you can choose the store. If you have multiple Etsy shops connected to my designs, you could choose them here. It has the cutting boards under cookware, cutting boards. It's already in that category. Again, we're offering more than just cutting boards, but that's the main focus for the listings. And I want to show you with our multi-product publishing feature how to add all four of those products to one listing. And down here, uh, what I wanted to show you under personalization, if you enter in a personalization message here, which I had a, just a generic one I saved to this profile, but in this case, each of these designs are different. So I want to actually choose a personalization message from a field like I showed you earlier in the video. Just change this to that personalization message. Now it's going to pull that in for each of these listings. So each of these listings will have their own personalization message, which is ideal if you are selling these or selling these personalized designs and each of them kind of require a different message. So that's what you can see here. Choose a field containing your custom personalization instructions, ideal for listings with unique customization needs. So that's what I like to do there. And uh, that's pretty much it. So now we can just hit publish. We took four early access products from Printify. They don't have mockups for these yet. We created our own so that we could offer these products to you early with everything built in. So your canvas templates, your product mockups, of course the whole bulk capabilities of my designs, Vision AI for helping you write your listing data and so forth. And of course being able to offer them as personalized products. So when they come into the orders page, like I said, you'll be able to just click on the order and hit personalize. You'll have the message right here from your customer. It takes you literally a couple seconds to just adjust it, approve it, renders the new mockup, creates the new print file, you approve it, it goes over to the customer on Etsy. So let's uh, check in on these publishing. So right now it's generating all the mockups in the background for all these listings. Then it's gonna generate a video mockup, uh, which is just a slideshow showing each of the mockups. So if the uh, customer on Etsy is searching for your product, they hover over it, it'll actually show the mockups within the listing without them having to click into it. So that's a really simple technique there that works well. And that shouldn't take too long, then all four of those will be on Etsy, which we'll go over there. They'll be in your draft folder and we'll look at them and approve one of them or publish one of them so we can check it out and I can show you what it looks like. All right, so that is already done. Took a whole two minutes. We got those four listings should be sitting in our draft folder here on Etsy. So let's uh, take a look. All right, under draft, you can see we've got all four of them. There's our main mock-up. These look great. So let's click into one of these. And again, look at the videos there. Uh, all the other mock-ups showing the different product types. It's amazing. Different colors be between these cutting boards. And again, you could, if you wanted, you could just publish one of those. You could still load the profile and then just uncheck or delete the other products. But I wanted to show you the multi-product publishing feature of my designs. So yeah, you can see this particular engraving instructions, the personalization instructions. Very fitting for this exact design. Uh, everything's here. It's all set up the right way. So these are ready to go. So let me take this one and just publish it. And we'll check that out on this Madison one, right? Yeah, view on Etsy. And there is our listing. Take a look at that. Different mockups. It's a good listing. Now, you could probably improve the, the keywords you're using in your title and tags a bit more. I always say that Vision AI will get you 80 to 90% of the way there. A lot of time it includes a lot of amazing keywords, but there are a lot of cases where you could come in and adjust it with better keywords. So keep that in mind. But under the size dropdown, this is what I wanted to show you. Got the bamboo serving tray, got the bamboo pizza board, 
wooden cutting board. You got the different the styles, the paddle, the paddle with the drip ring or the rectangle or the rectangle with the drip ring. And then the different charcuterie boards based on the sizes. So really nice, really fast. Now this is also available for personalization. As you can see here, all the details are there. Customer enters it here, they add to cart, they purchase it, comes over to my designs right into your orders. And then you open it up and personalize it in literally 10, 15 seconds, however long it takes. And then you approve it and that goes over to your Printify account, set up on the exact SKU and gets fulfilled by Printify. And then that tracking number comes back to us. My designs right over to your order on Etsy, completely seamless. So that's the process. That's how you can sell these engraved products on Printify. They're in early access through my designs and do it quickly, easily with everything included. So if you like this video, let me know by leaving a comment below and let me know if there are any other type of products you'd like me to cover. But that's it. Cheers. Talk soon.